Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the video a like. Also, I'm thrilled to announce that I've got a Telegram channel and a Patreon where you can enjoy exclusive content ahead of its YouTube release. Check the description or comments for the links. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Experimenter Part 4 The next morning, Naruto, Ino and Hinata arrived at the training ground, feeling very out of sorts. The mood was not improved by Kakashi being late. However, the guys were a little relieved when their unpunctual sensei still showed up at the training ground. Everyone, with a swarm of shurikens, kanai and senbons prevented him from finishing. Ino and Hanada were simply frantically throwing projectiles, and Naruto created about a hundred clones, which methodically turned into huge shurikens, which the guy immediately sent towards Kakashi. About five minutes later, when all three of them were tired of the hit the sensei game, they finally stopped throwing pieces of iron. Let's assume we've warmed up, Naruto said contentedly, judging by his appearance, not even tired after such a greeting. You're late again, Kakashi sensei. Next time, I will throw the weapon with aim. I'll keep that in mind, said the slightly out of breath Hitaki, examining his Junin vest, which bore fresh marks from tangential hits. Well, okay, let's start our test. It's 10 o'clock in the morning now. You must take these bells from me before noon. As you can see, there are two of them. Anyone who fails to get the bell will be left without lunch, once, and will return to the academy, twice. And one more thing. To pass this test, you must try to kill me, otherwise you will fail. All clear? I see. All three answered in unison. Sly smiles appeared on their faces. Well, then, let's begin. Kakashi said and all three disappeared from sight. A few minutes later, shurikens flew at the sensei from all sides. Kakashi's experienced gaze discerned the illusion. Shadow shurikens? Not a bad start, he thought as he parried or dodged the projectiles. But they are too easy to distinguish. Illusory copies do not produce sound. However, several of the projectiles that Hitaki mistook for illusions turned out to be quite real and left several more scratches on his vest. Meanwhile, the shelling stopped. A moment later, Kakashi saw about three dozen blondes emerge from the bushes one after another and rush at the Junin in hand-to-hand -hand combat. However, Naruto's level of taijutsu, of course, was much lower than Kakashi's and all thirty clones were soon dispersed, providing a smokescreen, under the cover of which one of the bells was imperceptibly cut off by a sharp vine growing from the ground. When the smoke cleared, the heiress of the Hyuga clan jumped out at Kakashi with her Byakugan activated attacking the sensei with the famous soft hand style. While Hitaki managed to dodge, Hanada increased her pace. Now, now. Come on. Naruto shouted to his friend, and Hitaki froze, caught by the Yamanaka clan's technique. She was thrown off almost immediately by the experienced Jonin, but a moment was enough for Hanada to grab the bell. Kakashi's attempt to take him back was unsuccessful. There is a blow, and the girl disappears in a cloud of smoke, immediately appearing on the other side of the clearing along with her friends. The team already has both bells, one is held by Ino, and the other by Hanada. Asterisk asterisk. Okay, I understood how you got the second bell, Kakashi said after he announced to the team that the test had been successfully completed. Ino caught me with a consciousness transfer technique, Hanada took off the bell, and Naruto replaced her with his clone. But for the life of me, I didn't notice how you took the first one. I told you that sensei wouldn't understand, Ino grinned boastfully. Yes, Ino-chan, you were right, Naruto smiled. I cut off the first bell under the cover of a smokescreen from the scattered clones. That's it, Hitaki shook his head. Cleverly done. But I still don't understand how you managed to fool me with shurikens. It's very simple, Kakashi-sensei, Hanada explained. Naruto-kun can handle the element of wind, it created a whistle from illusory shurikens, and muffled the noise from real ones. In other words, the blonde summed up. Your reflexes played a cruel joke on you. I see, Hitaki was very pleased. Many teams have tried to pass its test, but no one has yet been able to understand its true purpose. The purpose of the test was to work in a team. The bells were just a prop, but the fact that the guys managed to take them away was a good sign. Asterisk 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 you're late again. Naruto barked, creating 50 clones around himself. How many times must I repeat? I. I hate it. Those. Who. Constantly. He's late. 
Each word was accompanied by a targeted throw of a huge shuriken. Kakashi barely managed to dodge the projectiles. Even if they were just transformed clones, they could kill. Hitaki made sure of this when, during one of his training sessions, Naruto cut down several trees at once with one such shuriken. Sorry, Naruto! shouted the sensei, a huge piece of iron had just rushed past whose head, almost taking his ear with it. I just, stop telling me about the path of life! Uzumaki barked, launching three shuriken at the sensei at once, which, nevertheless, nailed the janin to a tree by his vest. However, he immediately disappeared, replacing himself with a heavy log. This was already the third delay in a week, and Naruto, who knew very well the value of time, was determined to re-educate his sensei. However, this method was clearly no longer suitable, and it was time to come up with something new. Have you calmed down, Naruto? Kakashi asked, breathing heavily, appearing behind the student. I'll only calm down when you stop constantly being late, Uzumaki glared angrily at sensei. Today they were heading outside the village again. The Hokage, who was well aware of Team 8's capabilities, did not send them on simple missions. In a month, Naruto, Ino and Hanada completed 10 missions of rank C and 2 of rank B in addition, one of their missions received a rank A, as the caravan they were escorting was attacked by renegade shinobi. A task of the same degree of difficulty awaited them today. Finally, old Serutobi is generous with an A-rank mission, Naruto said as the four of them set off. I just can't believe it. Do you like doing difficult tasks so much, Naruto? Asked Kakashi, walking ahead of everyone. We all like it, corrected Sensei Hanada, whose place was right behind Hitaki. The best training is a real fight. That's right, Hai-chan, smiled Naruto, who brought up the rear of the group. In addition, enemies can also show a couple of new tricks. That means we will become stronger, Ino said with fanaticism. Uzumaki had a strong influence on girls. His desire for strength, in the name of protecting what was most dear, infected two Kunoichi. Besides, both girls absolutely adored Naruto. Kakashi chuckled. Despite the fact that he expected constant showdowns, in fact it turned out that both girls get along excellently with each other and with the object of their adoration. Kakashi was truly jealous of Naruto. Asterisk 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 and this is a rank omission. Naruto was literally seething with rage. Kakashi, Ino and Hanada prudently did not interfere, allowing the boy to let off steam. Uzumaki expected a battle with cool shinobi, when techniques fly into each other, when shinobi collide in a deadly dance, trying to hit your opponent, when a split second decides whether you live or die from a mortal wound. But expectations and reality are usually far from each other. Now, Naruto and the team had to simply deliver some special stone from the star village back to Konoha. The Uzumaki was raging. He loved to fight. Especially with opponents who were on equal terms with him. What now? Now he was forced, burning with anger at the third, to drag a backpack in which literally an entire safe was packed. Therefore, when a team of enemy shinobi stood in their way, Naruto was glad that he would finally warm up. However, seeing the angry Uzumaki, all four opponents decided that their own young life was more valuable than some kind of stone and hastily retreated. Naturally, Naruto returned to Konoha not in the best mood. When the guy came to the third with a report on the successful completion of the task, he did not shout, did not make a row and did not say unnecessary words. He just went into the office, put a piece of paper with the report on the table and left, loudly slamming the door. The Hokage understood everything when he read the report, in which all the words were, to put it mildly, indecent. However, when Serutobi finished reading it, the sheet was replaced with a normal report. However, the hint was very transparent, and the Hokage decided not to risk anymore and not bring Naruto to white heat. Asterisk 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 a week later, when Uzumaki finally calmed down, he looked at the Hokage again. Judging by the satisfied face of Konohamaru standing in the middle of the office and judging by the trickle of blood flowing from Serutobi's nose, the boy very successfully tested the seduction technique on his grandfather. Naruto grinned vindictively and shook his friend's hand when Ebisu burst into the office. Seeing the third wiping blood from his nose, the elite sensei slowly turned to his student. He realized that it was time to get out. Bye, Grandpa, Konohamaru shouted, escaping through the window. Next time my technique will knock you off your feet, young master, come back. Ebisu rushed after him. Some kind of crazy house. Serutobi exhaled irritably, 
Naruto. Just tell me, why did you teach my grandson this technique? He asked to show him something that could defeat the Hokage, the blonde chuckled. This technique can. Proven. Okay, okay, the third hastened to change the topic. Naruto, I have a new task for you. The customer assigned her a rank of C however, on the way, the team stumbled upon an ambush of renegade shinobi of the mist, and the mission received a rank of B according to the classification. And judging by the customer's story, this is not the limit. Therefore, I want to send you to strengthen this team. Ino and Hanada will rest for now. Who fulfills the order, and where should I go? Naruto immediately asked a question, anticipating a normal task. Team number 7. They are waiting for you on the way to the country of waves. Chapter 14. Ice Keke Jenke Naruto, happy that he was finally sent on a normal mission, raced through the forest in his fox form. Judging by Itachi's report, the seventh team managed to cover a day's distance by shinobi standards. However, they were moving on foot, which means Uzumaki will soon catch up with them. Ino and Hanada didn't mind a little rest at all. After all, usually, when there were no tasks, they trained together with Naruto, and training according to Uzumaki methods is the kind of thing that even Kurama got tired of. The fox himself, by the way, also remained in the village. Naruto stopped in time enough to avoid flying out to his own. Still, he didn't plan to show his fox form yet. A couple of seconds later, a smiling blonde man came out to the wary team number 7. Hello everyone, Naruto waved. Sasuke, Itachi and Sakura relaxed, but Kiba, on the contrary, tensed. He was clearly not happy to see Uzumaki here. Hello, Naruto, Itachi greeted the blonde. I knew that Hokage-sama would send you. This is our customer, Tizuna-san, an architect from the Land of Waves. Very nice, Naruto smiled. My name is Uzumaki Naruto. Asterisk 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 team number 7 reinforced by one person, continued its journey towards the country of waves. The Uzumaki's presence cheered up the rest of the ninja, except for Kiba, and possible dangers faded into the background. The Inazuka looked towards the blonde with suspicion, but did not risk openly expressing his hostility. Naruto himself joked and told different stories about his missions. Sasuke and Sakura only sighed enviously. They would also like to carry out high-ranking tasks, but they admitted to themselves that they did not reach the level of the Uzumaki team. The guy's dramatic progress surprised no one. Rumors that spread after Mizuki's capture helped Naruto remove the mask of a weakling without pain. Kiba, dissatisfied with the fact that they stopped paying attention to him, constantly tried to attract this attention. In addition, Sasuke told Naruto that during the attack the dog walker only got in the way and because of him, Sakura was caught with a poisoned weapon. Fortunately for the girl, Itachi had with him several tablets of a universal antidote, produced, by the way, in the Uzumaki laboratory. Now Kiba sniffed loudly every now and then and pretended to notice someone. This amused Naruto, but irritated everyone else. Finally, the company came to the river, and the blonde immediately sensed danger. The thin fox's hearing caught the barely audible whistle of a weapon flying in the air. Everyone lie down. The blonde barked, falling to the ground and taking Tizuna with him. Itachi's team didn't have to wait long and also fell into the grass. Just in time. A large sword flew over their heads and stuck into a tree. Landed on top of it a healthy man with a kirigakir bandage and a bandaged face. Naruto, rising from the ground, chuckled with satisfaction. This swordsman promises to be a very interesting opponent. The Uzumaki's eyes suddenly transformed, becoming blood red with a dot instead of a pupil and concentric circles. Well, well. Look who we have here. A bunch of suckers from Konoha, the fogman said mockingly. And you, children, were assigned to guard this architect. Honestly, I'm disappointed. I was hoping for a good fight. You know, I was also counting on a worthy opponent, Naruto grinned, rising from the ground and summoning a clone, and it seems I got it. The clone immediately turned into a copy of the swordsman's blade. Be careful, Naruto, Itachi shouted. He and his team had already surrounded Tazuna. I recognized him. This is Momochi Zabuza, Nukunin of the Mist and Master of Silent Killing. That's how it is, Uzumaki grinned, picking up the sword. Well, let's see what he's worth in battle. You're too confident, kid, Zabuza laughed, pulling his blade out of the tree. You are not strong enough to handle a sword as big as my decapitator. Sure. 
Naruto swung the heavy-looking blade with ease. Zabuza lazily attacked the boy, but he easily dodged the attacks. Uzumaki was in no hurry to attack, he did not master the art of sword fighting very well, and was going to copy a few movements with the help of the Rinnegan first. This was the principle that Naruto built every fight on. First he found out what new his opponent could show, then wore him down and knocked him out. Uzumaki did not like to kill and did it only as a last resort, preferring to knock out his opponent and seal him. You're nimble, kid, Momochi grinned, looking at Naruto slipping out from under his blows. But why do you carry a sword with you if you are not going to use it? I'm just delaying the pleasure, the blonde smiled predatorily, abruptly starting to attack his opponent with the same techniques that the swordsman himself had just used. Not expecting such pressure, Zabuza lost a couple of precious moments and found himself nailed to a tree with a copy of his blade. Naruto chuckled. It turned out to be easier than he thought. Okay, Zabuza. The guy began, but the swordsman immediately melted into a puddle on the ground. Water clone. Itachi shouted. However, Naruto already understood this himself. Three more opponents appeared behind him. A swing of the sword and the two turn into water. The third, meanwhile, made several seals. Ninpo, concealing fog. Zabuza shouted the name of the technique and the clearing was immediately shrouded in white haze. The blonde's subtle hearing caught the swordsman's movement in time. Zabuza was about to blow off the head of the architect and all four ninjas with one blow. However, a small root that treacherously crawled out of the ground ruined all his plans. Stumbling, the swordsman fell to the ground with a roar and was immediately entangled from head to toe in vines that had grown right below it. Naruto made several seals and a gust of wind easily cleared away all the fog. Well, did you get caught? The blonde grinned contentedly. This is not the end yet, the renegade muttered, trying to disentangle himself from the tenacious plants. At that moment, Uzumaki took out from his bosom a small scroll with already drawn symbols and quickly applied the sealing technique. That's all, Naruto said, smiling contentedly. The swordsman is defeated and in the future he can be handed over to the authorities for a very tidy sum. Zabuza-san. There was a wild cry from somewhere on the side and Senban rained down onto the clearing in a hail, instantly stabbing everyone present. Naruto winced with displeasure, and the seventh team in its entirety fell to the ground, immobilized. The needles hit acupuncture points. A boy jumped into the clearing, looking no older than Naruto, wearing a mask with the symbols of the mist, similar to an Anbu mask. Who else are you? The blonde asked, pulling out the needles from himself. The newcomer froze in surprise. Apparently, he didn't expect anyone to remain standing after his attack. But Naruto frankly didn't care, because after the implantation of the fox DNA, all the pressure points shifted, and it turned out that this mysterious ninja did not hit where he was aiming. What did you do to Zabuza-san? An angry voice rang out from under the mask, and the shinobi again appeared in the hand's needles. Sealed, Uzumaki answered mockingly, and what? Release him immediately, otherwise I will kill you, the boy shouted. Heaton, demonic mirror prison. Several mirrors grew around Naruto and the boy stepped into one of them. The Uzumaki's eyes lit up in anticipation. He realized that this mysterious shinobi possessed a Keke Jenke. Okay, the blonde grinned predatorily. Let's play if you want. The enemy moved from one mirror to another, simultaneously throwing several needles at Naruto, which were repelled by a lazy movement of his hand. This guy's standard tactic was obviously to trap his opponent and incapacitate him by stabbing him with Senban. But this trick didn't work with Naruto. Fogman was very fast, but the Rinnegan was even faster. And it's all? The blonde asked disappointedly. There were countless half-melted needles lying around him. I expected more from the owner of the Keke Jenke. The boy in the mirror just gritted his teeth and again sent a swarm of needles at the laughing Naruto. However, he was already tired of games. It was time to try out the Rinnegan technique, which Naruto had only recently found out about. Spreading his arms to the sides, the blonde shouted. Shinra Tensai. Powerful equipment smashed the mirrors into ice chips. The masked shinobi was simply slammed into the ground by the impact. Naruto lazily took out the very scroll in which Zabuza was sealed. What a rich catch today, he grinned, sending his defeated opponent to press. Dear Nukunen, 1, owner of Keke Jenke, 2, I already like this mission. Asterisk 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 the rest of the journey to the land of waves passed calmly. 
Naruto was contently wondering in his mind how to further improve his own DNA, Sasuke and Sakura were discussing the fight in low voices. Itachi was talking with Tazuna and Kiba. Kiba simply looked towards Uzumaki with the most evil look. Show off. Inazuka thought to himself. That is okay. You will still dance with me. I will prove that I am better than you. Soon, the company reached its destination. Tazuna continued building the bridge under Naruto's guard, and Team 7 began training. After a particularly exhausting training session, by the boys' standards, Kiba went to bed earlier than usual, which did not surprise anyone. However, instead of his room, Inazuka went into Naruto's room and took with him a scroll with sealed criminals. I'll print them out, he thought, going into his room. Zabuza and his accomplice will be grateful to me for freedom, which means I will persuade them not to interfere in Tazuna's direction. Besides, they will kill that damn demon. But it didn't turn out quite as Kiba expected. When the seal was removed, a powerful blow to the temple knocked the guy out. Chapter 15. Events in the Land of Waves When the next morning it turned out that two dangerous Nukunin had managed to escape from the powerful sealing technique, all the Konoha shinobi howled in unison. And when Naruto checked who had removed the seal, Kiba fell into complete disgrace. Sasuke, Sakura and Itachi looked at him as if he were an enemy of the people, and the blonde experimenter was generally ready to tear him apart. He didn't care about the Uzumaki swordsman, but letting go of the guy with the Keke Jenke. In short, the dog owner greatly regretted that such an idea had even entered his stupid head. Now, in addition to Naruto, Tazuna was also guarded by Itachi. The blonde was doubly zealous, he really wanted to get a new element of the DNA chain into his piggy bank. But for three days everything was quiet. Kiba, who sat quieter than water, lower than the grass, was no longer cast with evil glances, and he went into the forest, to train. In other words, to plot a new dirty trick against Uzumaki. Sasuke and Sakura were looking after Tazuna's family, while Itachi and Naruto were on the bridge discussing the possibility of Zabuza and his accomplice reappearing. What do you think, Itachi? The blonde asked a question, looking at how the workers scurried back and forth. Will Zabuza show up again? I think so, the Uchiha nodded, but I'm not sure. Still, you gave him a good beating, and if it weren't for the very smart Inazuka, then his head would already be on the person who will pay more. And in addition, you managed to deal with his accomplice, who had a keke jenke. I regret this most of all, Uzumaki breathed. I was so hoping to once again improve my DNA chain. You should stop with these experiments, Naruto, Itachi shuddered. Why do you need this? There is no such thing as too much strength, the blonde retorted, returning the conversation to its previous course. You know, I have one guess. While I'm on the bridge, these two won't appear. This means that I will have to create the appearance that I am not here. So. The Junin became interested. So you want to turn into one of the workers? No. Naruto shook his head. Zabuza is too experienced and will figure me out if I use transformation. We'll have to switch places. I will guard Tazuna San's family, and you and the team will be here. When Zabuza and his friend are drawn, you will activate the seal that I will give you. The signal has been received, I'm coming to help. It's simple. Okay, Itachi agreed. That's what we'll do. Asterisk 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 the next day, Zabuza, who was watching the bridge, did not see the familiar blonde hair. Hum. It looks like the guy decided to trick me with the transformation technique, the swordsman said to himself. Although. It doesn't seem like it. There's their mentor. Here are two more. Guy the one I knocked out is not visible. But no, there he is. So, it seems that this blonde guy really isn't here. Zabuza-san, the same boy with the Keke Jenke appeared next to him. That blonde man they called Naruto is now at the architect's house. I checked it personally. Okay. Haku, Momochi grinned. So, our time has come. Let's go to the bridge. Asterisk 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 why did Uzumaki suddenly decide to switch places? Kiba muttered, looking down from the bridge. I don't know for sure. But Naruto usually rarely lets anyone who doesn't belong to his four in on his plans, Sasuke chuckled. And he certainly won't tell you anything. What kind of four are they? Asked Sakura, interested. Ino, Hanada, my brother Itachi and Naruto himself, explained the younger Uchiha. Uzumaki and his three friends. Honestly, I'm surprised that Nisan didn't become the sensei in his group. I'm more surprised by Naruto's progress, the girl said. 
At the academy he was always among the average, never stood out from the crowd, and then such dramatic progress. Naruto always strived to become stronger, Sasuke shrugged, he just didn't want to advertise it, most likely. When he was eight, he even. The brunette paused, glancing sideways at his brother standing nearby. What did he do at eight years old? Kiba spoke. Well. I don't know if I can talk about this, the younger Uchiha scratched the back of his head. This only applies to Naruto and our clan. You're hinting at rumors that this idiot saved your clan from complete extermination, the dog walker snorted. You're an idiot yourself, Inazuka. Sakura attacked him irritably. If it weren't for your immense stupidity, we wouldn't be under threat now. Why the hell did you even need to touch the seals? I told you, I wanted to take a better look at the technique, Kiba replied, and the seals turned out to be unreliable. Kiba, either it seems to me, or you're lying, Itachi approached the three genin. Naruto and unreliable seals are incompatible things. The worst seal he makes will hold stronger than any of mine. Why is this, Nisan? Sasuke became interested. Naruto is from the Uzumaki clan, the elder Uchiha explained. This clan was famous for its seal techniques. Famous? Sakura didn't understand. The clan was destroyed during the Third Shinobi World War, Itachi explained. Of course, not all members of the clan died. Those who survived simply scattered throughout the world. Naruto is one of them. There's so much we don't know about him, Sasuke muttered under his breath. For some time everyone was silent. Itachi-sensei, Haruno suddenly asked. May I ask you? When we met this swordsman, I saw Naruto's eyes turn red. And the pupil in them was somehow unusual. And then he used a technique whose action I did not see, but I heard the name. Shinra Tensai, I read about the three great dojutsu, and Naruto's eyes fit the description of the Rinnegan. Is it possible? The Uchiha sighed. Sasuke and Sakura looked at him with interest, because everyone knew that the eldest Uchiha was friends with the blonde. Even Kiba was interested. I can only say one thing. Naruto's eyes are his secret, and it's not for us to demand that it be revealed. But you know what this dojutsu is, right, Nisan? Sasuke made the most pleading expression on his face. Tell us. Oh please. No, Sasuke, Itachi answered firmly. I don't intend to reveal Naruto's secrets. Moreover, I myself can only guess about many of them. But I can only say one thing, if you don't want problems, then you shouldn't dig under Uzumaki. After these words, the elder Uchiha quickly walked towards Tizuna, leaving the three genin alone with this riddle. Bad brother, Sasuke grumbled. No, just say, no, he became intrigued and ran away. Exactly, Kiba supported him. Hum, strange, Sakura suddenly said. The fog is creeping in. It seems like it was a sunny day today and... Fog. Really? Asterisk 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 meanwhile, Naruto managed to protect Inari and Tsunami from attacks from two bandits. Before sealing them, Uzumaki learned more about where to look for the person who ordered the assassinations and was now quickly moving towards the Gado Corp. Company, leaving several copies of himself guarding the house. Eliminate the source of infection. You will cure the disease. This phrase from a scroll with medical jutsu was spinning in the blonde's head when he launched an attack on the office. Most of the guards were knocked out, and a dozen more received several stab wounds in the area of, well, let's say, the lower back. Gato himself was found, neutralized and sealed. Naruto remembered well the amount that was given for him on the black market. When the business was completed, Uzumaki headed back. But he didn't have time to get home, having felt the activation print. So the guys finally came to the bridge, Naruto grinned predatorily. Okay, it's time for me to join in the fun. Asterisk 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 meanwhile, a hot fight was already in full swing on the bridge, Itachi held back Zabuza's attacks, Sakura helped the architect and workers leave the battlefield, and Kiba and Sasuke tried to deal with the black-haired guy in a mask. However, Inazuka and his dog were quickly incapacitated by well-aimed throws of needles, and Uchiha Jr. fell into the same mirror trap as Naruto, and it has not yet been possible to get out of it. Now Sasuke was methodically turning into a hedgehog, trying to keep track of the actions of Zabuza's accomplice. Over time, he began to succeed. The Sharingan with one Tomo lit up in his eyes. But, since too many needles were already embedded in him, the Uchiha lost consciousness. 
Asterisk 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 Naruto showed up just in time. Sasuke passed out inside the mirror trap, Kiba was lying unconscious by the fence, and from the fog came the wheezing of Itachi, who was holding back the swordsman's onslaught with his last strength. The blonde immediately moved to the center of the mirror trap and again used the old trick. Coupled with the effect of surprise, it worked, but Haku managed to escape from the mirrors in time. Naruto used his second Rinnegan technique. Banshu Tenen. The guy in the mask was pulled straight onto the Uzumaki's heavy fist. Having received a tasty blow to the gut, Haku bent over, and a small spike with paralyzing poison was immediately inserted into his neck. Lie here for now, and I will deal with your owner. No. Zabuza san. The boy croaked before freezing, and Naruto was already making wind seals technology. Futon. Gust of wind. The fog was instantly blown away from the bridge, revealing Itachi and Itachi standing opposite each other to Naruto's gaze. Zabuza. The Uchiha immediately activated his Sharingan. Thank you for your help, Naruto, shouted the sensei of the seventh team, rushing at his opponent. Uzumaki grinned, but did not interfere, but simply watched the battle with his own dojutsu. Without fog, the enemy forces were equal. Zabuza was a professional swordsman with vast experience, but Itachi had the Sharingan and his favorite katana. About 15 minutes later, when both opponents were completely exhausted, Naruto stopped the fight. Stop. He shouted, deactivating the Rinnegan. Both fought well and deserved a cookie. But you are tired, and I don't see any reason to continue the fight. So, how about we sit down and peacefully discuss the future? Asterisk asterisk, that is, our employer won't pay us anything, Zabuza chuckled. Now he, Haku and Naruto were sitting by the fire, in the very clearing where the seventh team was training. The blonde looked at the three trees with kanai marks with a smile. One had at most two or three lines. On the second there were about twenty, and they ended not far from the top. The third tree was cut almost completely, and the topmost mark was approximately in the middle of the trunk. Zabuza's question broke the long silence. Yes. Gato was disturbing too many people, Uzumaki grinned predatorily, so I think they'll hold an auction for it on the black market. Our contract is no longer valid, the swordsman stated, looking at the fire. Right. But I have another proposal for you, Naruto said. Which one? Zabuza asked without taking his eyes off the fire. I need Haku's blood. My blood? The brunette was surprised. Zabuza also looked at the blonde in surprise. But. Why do you need this? I'm collecting Keke Jenke, Naruto answered. Your blood contains the necessary information in the form of DNA, and it will be useful to me for research. But that's why Keke Jenke are called Keke Jenke, Zabuza shook his head. It cannot be purchased just like that. That's my business, Naruto retorted. By the way, I am already the owner of several improved genomes. For example, Mokotan, the wood element, with which I immobilized you. Arkotan, the element of metal, with whose help I can turn clones into any weapon. So that's how you managed to copy the decapitator, Zabuza realized. Yes. I simply gave my clone the shape of your sword, and then strengthened it with metal chakra, Naruto explained. Well, what is my offer to you? I can pay well for Haku's blood. I agree, the boy said. If Zabuza san orders me, then I am ready to die for him. You're a nice guy, Haku, Naruto smiled. You're lucky to have a partner, Zabuza. Asterisk 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 a few days later, when the bridge was completed, Naruto and Team 7 headed back to Konoha. Uzumaki was pleased, in one of his scrolls there was a vial of valuable DNA sealed. Itachi and Sasuke were discussing a past mission. Sakura tried to find the right question to ask Naruto. Kiba still looked at the blonde with hostility and was probably planning a new dirty trick. The journey home took a couple of days, and upon arrival, all shinobi received news of the upcoming Chunin exam. Chapter 16. Chunin exam after the report to the Hokage. Naruto immediately rushed to his laboratory. The researcher's excitement drove the blonde forward, because he had another Keke Jenke in his hands. I own wood, metal too, I have a storm, I have magnetism, and now let's add ice to the mix, Uzumaki reasoned, flying across the rooftops. At some point, he replaced himself with a clone and moved straight into the bunker. And his copy in the root fighter watching it headed towards Ichiraku. Recently, Donzo's people began to constantly monitor the village's weapons. 
Naruto was not against the fact that he was considered a weapon, but when the head of the root called him property of Konoha. The blonde was simply offended by this. Ino, Hanada and Kurama were already sitting in the laboratory when a restless experimenter appeared from a cloud of smoke. Hello, Nakun, the blonde immediately flew up to the guy and hugged him, I have missed you. You're not alone, Ino chan a brunette hung on Naruto on the other side. I missed you very much too, Naruto-kun. I probably won't hang on to you, okay, Naruto? Fox neighed. I'm glad to see you too, the blonde kissed each of his girls on the cheek, but I have a copy of some very interesting DNA here. Ino and Hanada understood him perfectly. When Naruto removed the vial of Haku's blood from the seal, the girls had already begun preparing equipment to work on the genetic level. Another genome? Kurama asked lazily, element or ice? The blonde answered briefly before getting to work. Naruto enjoyed working with DNA, especially when it was his own. Having isolated the required element from the Haku chain, Uzumaki immediately implanted it into himself. The genetic information took root almost instantly. However, it was the same with the element of the storm, which Naruto obtained on one of the missions, where he met with a fighter from Kumogakir. Constantly changing the DNA chain has made it very malleable. The blonde was already testing his new capabilities when Itachi appeared in the bunker. I see you've already had time to play around with the new DNA, the Uchiha sighed, looking at how Naruto made a statue of Kurama out of ice. Did you really think that I wouldn't take advantage of the opportunity? The blonde grinned. By the way, how did you manage to come to an agreement with these guys? The brunette asked, sitting down in a chair. Momochi Zabuza is not one of those who just give up on good money. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll just tell you from the very beginning, because the girls are not aware of the events, Naruto answered, sitting down on the sofa. Ino and Hanada immediately landed on opposite sides of him, ready to listen. The guy began the story from the place when he came to the Hokage. After about half an hour, he finally reached the point of the fight between Itachi and Zabuza. Ino and Hanada giggled as the blonde repeated his line about the cookies. Then we went to the clearing where your team practiced walking through the trees, Naruto said. There I offered them a good sum for a sample of Haku's blood. The boy, by the way, idolizes Zabuza. Well, in general, we agreed. I also suggested that they collect information about people with special abilities. We will meet in a month or two, and I will pay them for the information collected. I see, Itachi drawled. By the way, Naruto-kun, Hanada said. Kakashi-sensei said yesterday that there will be an exam for the rank of Chunin soon. He's going to offer our team's participation, Ino added. That's great, Uzumaki grinned. I think a lot of representatives from other villages will gather there. This means I have a chance to get a couple more interesting DNA samples. Who's talking about what, and the bald one about a comb, Itachi grumbled in response to the blonde's remark. Asterisk 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 the next two weeks were spent in intensive training. Taijutsu, ninjutsu, genjutsu, teamwork, special abilities, the Uzumaki team worked on everything. At the end of the day, Kakashi appeared at the fourth training ground, which had practically become the property of the eighth team. Everyone, at, Hitaki's greeting was cut off by three huge shurikens. The Jonin dodged the projectiles that cut down the tree behind him in a wild leap. For what? Sorry, sensei, it's a reflex, all three grinned synchronously. You have a bad habit, Kakashi muttered, but then realized that he might be reminded of his own. Therefore, the mentor immediately got down to business. Well, okay, how? I already said, tomorrow is the Chunin exam, here are your permissions. And you definitely had to hold out until the last, right? Ino asked displeased Ly, taking her piece of paper. Itachi's team received these clearances a week ago. I had urgent matters, Hitaki muttered, looking for a way to escape. He already knew that Uzumaki and his passions were nervous people, and any discontent on their part could result in serious problems. And what are they? Re-reading your little book. This is the 150th time, Naruto suggested sarcastically, playing with another large and sharp piece of iron. Actually, I have to go. I, uh, was called by the Hokage. Yes exactly, Kakashi said quickly. The next moment he had already fled from the clearing. Yes. You scared your sensei, stated Kurama, who until that moment had been sleeping peacefully under a tree. We need to re-educate, the Uzumaki, 
Yamanaka and Hayuga responded in unison. The fox sighed and the team returned to training. Asterisk 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 the next day, the eighth team appeared in full force for the exam. Kakashi, who arrived five minutes late, was met with a massive volley of various barbed pieces of iron. The unlucky sensei had to dodge the projectiles once again, to the friendly laughter of Itachi, Gai and Asuma. When will you finally stop doing this? Hitaki asked his team doomedly. When you stop being late, all three retorted. Okay, stomp into the classroom, Kakashi waved his hand at his students. All three immediately went to class. Besides them, there were three shinobi in the room with protectors of hidden sound, three teams of Konoha people, and two teams each from Fog and Cloud. Oh, more compatriots, smiled a guy with glasses, about 18 years old, with a Konoha protector on his forehead. This is your first time here, right? Newbies from the academy, huh? Well, you could say that, Naruto snorted. What, is this the second time you've taken it? No, seventh, the guy grinned. I've been renting for the fourth year in a row. My name is Yukushi Kabuto, by the way. Uzumaki Naruto, Naruto pointed at himself, and this is Yamanaka Ino and Hayuga Hanada. Nice to meet you, the blonde smiled. Hello, Kabuto-san, the brunette bowed. The trio of Uzumaki, Yamanaka and Hayuga, Kabuto whistled. I've heard, I've heard. Hey, if you want, I can share the information. Information. Yes. Since this is not the first time I am taking this exam, I already have information about almost everyone participants, as well as about the stages. Interesting, Eno grinned. Is there anything about me there too? Well, if you look carefully, then maybe you'll find it, the guy nodded, taking out a thick pack of cards that looked empty. However, as soon as Chakra passed through one of them, an image of a girl and several notes appeared on it. Yamanaka Eno, Jenin, Kabuto read. I don't have data on strength, but I do have the number of missions. Oh, you really are not an easy genin. Not a single mission of rank D, but 10 missions of rank C, 2, B and even 1 A I envy you guys, I envy you. Do you have information about genin with special abilities? Naruto asked, lowering his voice. Keke Jenke or something like that. Why do you need this? Yakushi was surprised. We must, the blonde answered evasively. Suddenly his interlocutor smiled slyly. So you're looking for improved genomes, right? Okay, here's something for you. Kabuto took out a small map from the bag on his belt. Hold it. After the first stage, release your chakra into it. There's something there for you. What will happen in the exam? Hanada asked a question. Well, usually there is a test with 10 questions, the guy answered. They are difficult, but the 10th one is usually the most important. The main thing there is to figure out what the catch is. I personally I didn't understand the first three times, which is why I failed the exams. Then I realized that you need to think first of all about working in a team. Well, the answer will be found by itself. The second stage is survival in extreme conditions. In Konoha, it usually takes place at training ground number 44. Forest of Death. Naruto was surprised. He is. Well, the third stage is one-on-one -on -one battles. Last time I flew there. I see, the blonde said and winked conspiratorially at the girls. Asterisk 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 as Kabuto said, at the first stage they were given a test. Naruto and the team wrote down the answers to all nine questions without much difficulty. The last one really had a trick. Naruto noticed how the examiner, Morino Ibiki, the famous interrogation master, was trying to influence the genin through fear. An old trick, but it had a slight effect on Ino and Hanada. In the end, Naruto had to put on a little show to remind the girls that everything was okay. In the end, it turned out that there was no tenth question at all. After completing the first stage, Ino and Hanada went home, and Naruto went to the laboratory. After checking the progress of several reactions, he remembered the card that Kabuto gave him. As soon as Chakra was put into it, information about the hidden sound village appeared on it. On the back of the card was the following inscription in familiar handwriting, Naruto-kun. I would like to meet you today at midnight at the fourth training ground. We have a lot to talk about. About. At exactly 12 o'clock at night, Uzumaki appeared at his favorite training place. Five people were already waiting for him there. A team of genin from Sound, Kabuto Yakushi and the one for whom Naruto actually came to this meeting. Orochimaru.